Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our look at the Savage Crucible Wave 2 with Nashorn the Disinherited. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be continuing our look at uh, the Savage Crucible Wave 2 lineup um, that the fine folks over at Harbinger Studios has sent my way. Today we're going to be taking a look at another action figure from that line, somebody that I didn't know a lot about. Um, but today we're going to be taking a look at Nashorn. Now, is this guy uh, the actual um, long lost leader of the uh, Arnica resurgence movement? And yes, I am reading that from their website. Uh, or is he just a gladiatorial arena combatant named Nashorn? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll have to find out. So without further ado, let's just get right into the review. All right, starting off with his uh, accessories here, we do have um, two of these um, shoulder pauldrons. Now these are gonna plug into the back of the arms, not the back of the the um, the traps here. Um, they are gold and they have like this kind of like Roman-esque look to him, which uh, I kind of dig and knowing his backstory a little bit, it seems very befitting uh, of a gladiator in a tournament. Then we have his shoulder pauldrons, which are these large scalloped pieces that are both red and silver. Um, I love all the scalloped lines here and the little dots in the front, I think look um, kind of neat and they tie into the, uh, the overall all like red um, motif of his armor. Next up, we have this small little knife that will fit um, onto his uh, back uh, of his uh, loincloth. It's got this nice little uh, silver blade, gold handle. I like the little touch of leather wraps around the, uh, the, the sheath, and I love the stitching on there. I think that looks really cool. Again, the hilt of this looks very kind of Roman or gladiator-like. Uh, then we have this nice sword. I love this sword in this sheath. These rings are sculpted in place. Uh, and then there's a lot of like old, like a patina to it where it's like old and dirty and like it's seen a lot of action. The hilt and the sword itself, there's a lot of distress and pitting on the sword. This blade has seen a lot of battles and I really like the, uh, the design of the hilt. Uh, and the hand guard and the pommel, and I think this looks great. And I'm um, I'm assuming that there's going to be some sort of like string rope or soft goods piece that you're going to be able to use to connect this to his back or his side. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm really hoping that that's gonna that's gonna come with the final figure, so we'll have some way to attach that to him. Um, then he's going to come with uh, two uh, open splayed gesturing hands with horizontal hinges. And we did see that he's going to have some bonus hands in the um, uh, the pack that we took a look at uh, yesterday. Uh, here he's got two weapon gripping hands. Uh, the right one is on a horizontal hinge and the left one is on a vertical hinge, which I really love. So maybe Nashorn is uh, a lefty. Maybe he's a southpaw. Now here's Nashorn just standing straight up and down with uh, some of his armor stripped off. Again, as this is a prototype figure, I don't want to like try to remove like the upper chest armor or the loincloth piece um, just you know for fear that it may break. And I want to be very uh, careful with these because they're not mine. Um, but this guy looks incredible. I thought you know just at first blush that this guy is going to be like your big bad guy from like Wave Two, and he may turn out to be a bad guy we don't really know but the fact that he um could be this resurgence you know this insurgency leader um this rebel leader um maybe um you know not remembering who he is maybe he does remember um but you know disguising himself and taking the name of nashorn um I think it's a pretty cool backstory, and the fact that we can't see his face is also very cool, and I wonder if we'll get an unhelmeted head for him down the road, um, but I love this, and those horns on the top, I mean, that's just chef's kiss, because to me, they remind me of a Hellboy who I love, so yeah, this guy looks incredible, so let's get him off this base and take a closer look at um, uh, all the details on this guy. So taking a closer look at this helmet, man, this thing is incredible, it looks great. 
um, you know, try to disregard all the paint rub. These guys have been shipped all over the country. They they appear in so many different shows, and they've been handled so many times. Uh, so this is not indicative. But look at that, the red glow from the eyes or maybe some red paint or blood, like, coming down out of them looks great. All the jewels on the head. I love this armor. Uh, I can't wait to see how many different colorways we get this armor in, like this chest armor. I think it looks very cool with like the, the way that it looks very um, metallic, but also organic at the same time. It's giving me like um, Xenomorph vibes uh, from Alien. You can see some of the human arms that have been sculpted here. Um, this is the first time we're getting a look at like a human character. You can see the, um, the hole in the back there. Um, that's for like the knife to plug in. Again, we've got a little um, ringlet here and then another ringlet on the other side for that sword. I love the gauntlets with the little jewel. I'm stuck in the middle. That blue jewel gives a little pop of color at, at, around his midsection. I love that this um, this little front piece here, uh, loincloth, uh, has some red and silver to it to bring that color um, from his shoulder pauldrons. And then the um, greaves down below, the gold. Look at the feet wraps, the, the all of the straps that are on um, the back of the, uh, the legs here look great. I love the sculpting, the attention to detail, the buckles, and all of the detail like on the feet and the wraps and the little gold um, um, accents. The toes look great. This is a very well sculpted figure. Uh, and yeah, he just, he looks incredible. Uh, head to toe, this guy is a winner. And then I think he, he, he only gets better with, um, with the, with the armor. And I really love these pieces. They, they're very Roman-esque, very gladiatorial, um, tournament, uh, warrior parts. And I dig it. And then let's get the, uh, the larger, uh, shoulder pauldrons on. And man, talk about armor that really changes the look and silhouette of a figure man this just makes him look so much more menacing it kind of changes him from like this gladiator look to like maybe a general leading an army um down the road that just looks fantastic this guy is just very menacing and very scary and he does you know if he comes out being a good guy that's incredible but man he's he's giving me some some villain vibes um, we have to wait and see how this character turns out in the lore, but, but he's doing it for me right now. I gotta tell you, I was, uh, kind of thinking this guy was a villain, but after reading his backstory that's out there online, he may actually be a good guy. And, uh, that's really cool. I, I, you know, this, this idea of having like a good guy that, you know, sort of, um, uh, doesn't maybe doesn't remember that he's a good guy and you know it's kind of like maybe brainwashed into thinking he's something else or maybe he's being deceived into thinking he's something else uh, and then you know you know takes on this new name uh, and this new identity to fight in the arena and or some sort of tournament and then you know maybe finds himself in the future this is a very compelling story and I absolutely dig it and this is a beautiful figure to go along with that great storyline from the armor to the weapons to the hands and then all of the stuff that we can add and change with him um, with the uh, conquest pack that we took a look at uh, yesterday I, I think there's gonna be so much that we can do with this particular character that I think this might be the sleeper hit of the wave because you know everybody's gonna want Jaeger the werewolf everybody's gonna want the human um, barbarians and the Frazetta figure and all of that but you may sleep on this guy thinking he's just some random villain but i think there's going to be a lot of uh display options with this guy once you get him and the conquest pack in hand i think there's going to be a lot that we can do with this character so thanks again um to savage crucible and harbinger studios for sending this over please head over to savagecrucible.com before this friday august 16th and get in your pre-orders for this new wave that is supposed to be shipping later this year so you will probably have them in hand by year's end thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching i super appreciate it please continue to check us out over at instagram at saturday morning toy collector i am your saturday morning toy collector i'm your host mark and i will see you in the toy aisles